Okay, welcome to state management. Today we will talk about managing the state in the Blazor application. If we go back to our application here, and as you can see, we have the parent component and we have those two child components. Those are sister components, we can say, and this one is the parent. Every change happens in the parent components that renders in the parent actually it affects the child components. As you can see, when I change the selected day property, it directly changes in the uh, child components. But the other direction is not working the same. When I change anything here, it doesn't directly reflect the parent or the system components. So we have to apply a mechanism to let it, uh, those components communicate with each other and notify them about themselves about the changes that happened between them. If I only want to uh, re-render this one or re-render those, actually there is a solution that I have come up with while trying to testing this project and building it, which is an event, a static event in each component. Let me explain it here. Here we have a parent component and those are child components. Okay, any change happens here, it directly reflects to all the children, which is not an issue. But if I want a change that happens here to be notified here and here or maybe only here what i've come up with is to create an event here a static event that actually being invoked when something happens within this component so if this component is interested in that event it directly can subscribe for it and call a function called state has changed uh, it's uh, existing within the component class and blazor so this one actually forces this component to re-render itself when something happens within this one and if this also interested just can subscribe to this event and it's done if the parent is interested just can subscribe to this event and it's done this is the general concept of my solution right now we'll go and implement it but if you have your own solution which is better kindly you can recommend it in the comments below and i can make a separated video about it or something like this because this is a very important topic okay i will go to add event and let's see how we can implement this i will create a public static event and let's define the delegate or the signature of method will be action no parameters the function the method that will be Subscribe to this event will be no parameters and it returns void, nothing. I will call it on event added equals to nothing by default for a function that does nothing. Now I will invoke this function at the end here on event added dot invoke. So every time add event adds a new one to the selected day object it calls this event if there is some subscribers who are interested within this event okay they can subscribe for it if there is not nothing happened this must be this method being called which does nothing now i want to subscribe for this event from events list I will go here and go to protected override void on initialized so this function is being called when the component initialized successfully so here I will subscribe to that event existing in the add event component so I would say add event because it's a static event on event added plus equals I will add a function and the expression like this so what I want this component to do when a new event being added I just want to call state has changed like that it's pretty simple and easy 
right now when the add event will call on event added this function will be called as well and it force the event list the events list component to re-render itself and also i want to do this from the index the tracer because i'm also interested here protected i can just copy the code paste it here because it is just the same that's great let's click on dot runner dot net run again okay great let's refresh the page and click on 2020 may for 20 live q and a session from 8 30 pm to 9 45 pm i will click add and here we go as you can see this this component and the parent components called the state has changed method for themselves and this causes that they re-render themselves and render the required events now let's add another one reading a book at 5 to 6 a.m click on add let's add an event here playing football from 6 to 8 p.m click on add <laughs> that feels good right that's amazing uh, and then 90 here we have microsoft build from 8 a.m till 6 p.m click add now our calendar is full of events full of colors everything just working as expected just totally fine this is about state management and as i've said before if you have a better solution don't hesitate and directly recommend this in the comment section because i'm planning to make something related to state management uh, a new video or a new article related for this but i'm still finding the best solution for this project and came up with this one i looked at it it's gentle and doesn't affect the code too much but i think there is something better but we'll see thank you again so much for watching and see you in the next video we will start with uh, implementing the authentication with microsoft by creating the azure active directory application register our application then implement the authentication in the last video we implement read the events and add a new event to the microsoft graph api